Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Brady, believe it or not, it's that tropical system that is making landfall that's actually going to change up our weather pattern for some good changes headed to the forecast. Not for today, though. We're staying hot, we're staying dry. But as that system is going to push this into motion, starts to lift north, we won't be getting rainfall out of that particular system. Notice that high pressure starts to sag just back to the west. And that has been keeping us hot. That has been keeping us humid. That has been keeping us dry. And that's going to continue to slide well off to our west as we look towards the weekend. And yes, that'll usher in some new changes, some refreshing changes. Live look right now, plenty of sunshine. As Brady said, we're not tracking any precipitation for today. In fact, there's a few high clouds outside of that. We're seeing plenty of sun. Make sure that you have those sunglasses ready to go. A little bit of a haze going on because we're already in the 90s. So this marks the 10th consecutive day where we have seen those temperatures in the 90s. Not feeling like it. We're feeling like 100 degrees here at noon with those south winds in play. Those south winds are tapping into a more tropical like air mass. What that means is that's helping to boost that heat. That's helping to boost a little bit of that humidity around the area. Dew points in those 70s right now. So we are feeling in that muggy category across the board. We're seeing some 90s starting to pop up 92 up in Bartlesville, 90 over in Grove, 89 down in Oak Mulgee. And it's no wonder we saw some lower 80s and upper 70s to get us out the door this morning. So we knew we were headed into those 90s pretty quickly. Over the next several hours, we'll stay in those 90s. No big changes. Check out all of that sunshine that will be with us for today. We'll get a few high passing clouds, but again, that is it. We'll keep those south winds sustained about 15 miles per hour this afternoon with some periodic gusts pushing anywhere between 20 to 25 miles per hour. Nothing that's going to do any damage, but something that's going to potentially increase these temperatures. We're still on track for a few of those periodic gusts, so that will be pushing these temperatures up into those upper 90s if that does hold through. Now, in terms of that muggy meter, how are we feeling? We're still not feeling pleasant. We're not even tolerable. We're not humid. We're in that muggy category. Our dew points will remain in that 70 to 75 range for today. So prepare yourself if you're going to be outdoors or work outdoors for long periods of time. Dew points 75 plus, remember, are oppressive. And that's exactly what we felt like this time last week. Not the case for today. 94, sunset now at 8.44 p.m. Notice when the sun does set, temperatures hanging steady in those mid and even upper 80s. So it's going to take us a while. We'll see those winds calming as we end the overnight, allowing those lows to fall almost near seasonal. Believe it or not, 69 is our seasonal average for this time of the year, and we'll be very close to that. As we look towards the weekend, here's what you can't expect. 95, we're going to keep those heat indices in those triple digits, but all things start to change on Monday, including how we're feeling. Also, those temperatures, what it's going to be outside, and it's going to be noticeably cooler, and that will continue into Tuesday. We have a passing cold front, I should say, for this time of the year. It's going to knock those temperatures down a little bit further, but nothing of that will be uh, too far below our seasonal average. Here come those showers, isolated at best. We'll start to see more scattered to even widespread. We're a few days out still, so the models are still not lining up just yet. But with any passing cold front, typically that cloud deck quickly escapes, and that will be the case with the system. Noticeable difference as we look towards the work week next week. Finally breaking that streak of 90 degree heat. 97 as we finish the season of spring. But Brady, wouldn't you know, we kick off the summer season with a high of 83. Only in Oklahoma. All right, excellent. Annie, thank you.